What's going on everyone? So for this Sky Mod video, I'm featuring Blackthorn, and this is a buildable town that you can make pretty much from the ground up here in uh, the rift hold of Skyrim, located here, just pretty much right in the middle of the rift. So when you first start, there will be a trader, and it's the Blackthorn trader. And you come in here and you can buy all the materials to build the town, as well as the recipes that actually construct the buildings. And then inside each building, there is a workbench that you use to create the furniture and all the other decorations inside the house. And you also use that to hire the NPCs that are inside the houses. So let's go ahead and take a look at the town here. So this is after everything's been built. There is a guard barracks over here with a few guards, a blacksmith with two blacksmiths, one that works inside and one that works outside. Uh, the model also comes as very own horse, which is nice. Here is the manor that is your player home. And we'll look into this this manor a little bit more in depth than the other interiors just because it's, a, it's the player home part of the mod. Um, out here there's also a few traders that sell stuff and little market stalls. There's the horse stable. How exciting. And here is the trader where you go buy all the recipes to start off the mod. And uh, so basically when you have this mod it looks like this. There's nothing here, there's just the trader. And then after the mod, you have this whole nice town built pretty much from your materials and labor, I should say, because the materials to build the town is actually quite a lot. Over here is a pretty big tavern. I believe that uh, other NPCs live in this tavern as well. Um, and here is the alchemy shop. And like I said before, the, the guard barracks comes with a few guards, so they're out here patrolling and keeping the monsters at bay such as wolves and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for the town here. Just want to make this video just a pretty quick video. I think this is a really awesome mod idea to pretty much build your own town. And let's go ahead and take a look at our player home part of the mod. Alright, so keep in mind that pretty much everything has been built, so the house is fully featured. And uh, yeah, so this is the ground floor of the house mod. We got this little kitchen area and over here, kitchen extended to this little area here. Um, I have noticed a little bit of frame rate problems with this mod, but that's probably just because my computer is just too old at this point to really handle a lot of these bigger mods. So if you see any performance drops, it's most likely my computer. But this in manner, home space is actually pretty big. So this is just a study room here. Um, Looks like all the shrines and right there and dragon stones, standing stones I should say. I do like the paintings that come with the mod, it's pretty sweet. And again, you don't have to have these shrines and stuff, they're all buildable, so if you want to customize a house to your liking, then that's totally, totally up to you. Big little bedroom area, that goes back outside, kind of like a back door. And then let's go ahead and go up the stairs. And go right into the master bedroom here. This is the master bedroom. One thing to note is that uh, here you can spawn a chest that has all the materials inside, which I obviously did. Um, if you read this note here, it'll give a little bit more instructions about that stuff. And then you can also uh, disactivate, disactivate, <laughs> disable all the workbenches so they're gone. So there was, there was a workbench here, but uh, after clicking that button, it's gone. And I think you have to click it twice because I guess that's the way the button's set up. In Skyrim, maybe or whatever, but yeah, the mod, especially the player house, features a lot of really cool features, such as a nice little fire. The bathroom is really sweet as well. Here's the bathroom. It has a few clickables and stuff. All nicely decorated. Not too much fluff, but enough to make it pretty comfy, and you can still customize a lot of parts of the mod too. Um, here's a little trophy room hidden behind this wardrobe and false door. And I like this room, but if that's just not enough storage for you, there's always the basement, which has a ridiculous amount of storage. So, here's just some more bedrooms. And again, more bedrooms. I think these are kid, children beds. Kid beds. <laughs> but yeah, this mod is definitely kind of focused on having a lot of people in this town. I do believe it's multiple follower friendly as well. Um, or a version is being worked on for that. But yeah, here's that huge basement that just has a ridiculous amount of storage. Tons of mannequins and stuff like that. If you see them moving around and stuff, I mean, it's probably because I don't have that mannequin fix, but yeah. 
Here's your own personal forge area in case you don't want to use the blacksmith's forge area. And it also comes with your own enchanting and alchemy lab. And I believe it's staff enchanter as well. Yes. So, I mean, this room is just um, up for you to store some stuff. And it has some named storage, which is nice. I'm always a big fan of named storage rather than just putting a bunch of stuff in weapon racks and mannequins and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the house part here. Um, don't want to take too much time up. But yeah, we'll go ahead and check out a few more interiors of the town just so you get an idea of what the interiors inside look like after you've built them all up. So yeah, we'll go ahead and check out the blacksmith here. And again, there's an outside blacksmith, so he's out here busy working. But then inside, house smithing supplies. It's just a small, simple shop. That's our room. That's pretty much it. So all the interiors are pretty small, you know. The inn is the biggest one, but I mean, that's just a standard inn. We'll take a look at that one next. Divine smoke. And uh, overall, this mod is pretty sweet. The only thing I would wish, but it's probably a long shot, this is probably an assassin. Yeah, go get him, horsey. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Yeah, and if you guys are seeing any frame rate drops, that's definitely my computer. My computer is having a hard time handling this town, this size, and this many NPCs. All right, so here is the end. And, and again, you can hire a lot of people. So, for instance, I hired a bard. So she's seeing me. It's a pretty nice little inn area. There's also an upstairs and downstairs, but that's usually NPC living space or your bedroom if you're renting out a bedroom. So overall, Black Thorn Town's pretty sweet mod. The only thing I would really, really wish, and it would take a ton of work to implement this, is that everyone had their own like custom voice acting and all that kind of stuff. But this is already a really great mod. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, if you use the the cheat chest to build up the town. It doesn't take too long. Um, I would say maybe like 10 minutes or something like that. But if you're really, really going to pretty much build your own town, you know, make maybe if you don't want, if you're not an alchemy character, you don't build an alchemy shop and stuff like that. Um, and gather all the resources and stuff, it would definitely take quite a while. So overall, Blackthorn Town is pretty sweet. And I definitely recommend it if you're interested in building your own town or building your own house. Anyways, that's it for this Sky Mod video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to endorse the mod if you like it, and subscribe to my channel to see more Sky Mod videos like this one. See ya.